हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट द मैंडलिप्स पेरियोडिक टेबल दैट इज द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स डन बाय मैंडलिप्स द रशियन केमिस्ट मैंडलिप प्रपोज ए लॉ इन एटीन सिक्सटी नाइन for the classification of elements this law was known as mendelev's periodic law according to this law the properties of elements are periodic function of their atomic masses it means when <coughs> elements are arranged in order of increasing atomic masses the elements with similar properties occur at regular intervals mendelev arranged all the 63 known elements at that time in the order of increasing atomic masses in horizontal rows in such a way that elements having similar properties came under one another in vertical columns in mendelev periodic table there are seven periods and eight groups the horizontal rows in a table are called periods and vertical columns are called groups the first seven groups of mendelev's periodic table are normal elements and it its group is and the eight group is of transition elements the classification of mendelev done by uh, uh, classification sorry classification of elements done by mendelev was guided by two factors that is increasing atomic masses and grouping together the element having similar properties during preparing mendel periodic table mendelev left some gaps in order to make sure that elements having similar properties fell in the same vertical columns mendelev left gaps in his periodic table because he believed that these elements would be discovered later on he also predicted their properties and named as eka boron eka aluminum and eka silicon Sil eka silicon when these elements were discovered eka boron is named as scandium eka aluminum is named as gallium and eka silicon as germanium there are some merits of mendelev's periodic classification first mendelev's periodic classification predicted the existence of some elements that had not been discovered at that time Mendelev's periodic table could predict the properties of several elements on the basis of their position in the periodic table. Mendelev's periodic table could accommodate noble gases when they were discovered without disturbing the table. But there are some limitations. First, Mendelev's periodic table fail fails to explain the position of isotopes as we know that isotopes are the atoms of elements having same atomic number but different atomic masses since ato isotopes have different atomic masses so they should be placed in different groups in the periodic table but they are placed at the same place in the mendelev's periodic table second limitation is wrong order of atomic masses could not be explained there are some arrangement of elements which are placed in wrong order of atomic masses 
In Mendeleev's periodic table, elements are arranged in the order of increasing auto atomic masses. So the element having lower atomic mass should be placed first, and then the element having higher atomic mass. But we find that the cobalt with higher atomic mass, fifty-eight point nine unit, comes first, and the nickel having lower atomic mass, fifty point uh, higher atomic mass, fifty uh, sorry lower atomic mass, fifty-eight point seven unit comes later. Mendeley periodic law could not explain this long order of atomic masses. Mendeley doesn't and uh, Mendeley periodic table failed to give the correct position to hydrogen in his in the periodic table. In Mendeley periodic table, hydrogen is placed in the group first group with alkali metals. because hydrogen is combined with hydrogen halogen oxygen and sulfur to form compounds ha having similar chemical formula as the alkali metals it means hydrogen resembles alkali metals in some properties but we know that hydrogen also resembles halogens fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine in some of the properties like had halogen hydrogen like hydrogen halogen hydrogen also exist in diatomic molecule hydrogen combines with certain metals to form ionic metal hydrides due to this hydrogen should be placed in seventh group with halogens these are all about about mendeleev's periodic classification and the table prepared by him Mendeleev periodic table does not explain the, the the classification of elements but it is a good approach for the classification of elements and Mendeleev gave a relationship between the atomic masses and the properties of elements okay